So we are finally there. It's the FA Cup today and I'm going to do a match prediction, a preview of the game. Uh, kickoff is in about just over two hours. So I've got a little bit of time here before um, I actually go out to watch the game. Uh, I'm really excited for this one, but I don't know how to call it. I, I don't I don't know who's going to win this one. So this prediction is probably one of the hardest ones I've made recently. I would say at the moment I'm about 50-50. I get half right, half wrong. Today, I'm guessing I'm not going to get it right. So, I'm going to go the opposite of what my initial thoughts were when I woke up this morning and remembered that it was today. I'm going with a Chelsea win. I thought previously, especially since um, the game at St. James's Park the other, other day where Chelsea got absolutely thumped by Newcastle, that for me was an instant... Man United will win this game. That that was my reaction. I thought Chelsea looked really poor. And let's be honest, they have not had a good season at all. Um, but just because it's football and I just... I like to make predictions sometimes just out of the blue. I think the team that I don't expect to win will win. Chelsea are going to win the FA Cup today. I just have a feeling. Um, Conte's last game, potentially a big... A big chance for players to see him go out on a high. I'm pretty sure if he is leaving, the players will somehow have a feeling or just know that it's going to be happening. Um, I think Man United are probably going to set up very defensively. They'll try and get that early goal and maybe just defend it. I just don't think that's going to happen. I, I think my prediction is this. Man United will not score today. I think Chelsea will win this game 2-0. That's going to be my, my prediction. I think they'll score two second-half goals. I think Hazard, will, he, he's bound to score. And I'm going to go with a Morata goal. He comes on as a sub. Okay, because I think Giroud will start with uh, Hazard. Two up top. That's what they've been doing a lot recently, right? So that's my prediction. I'm going to go with a Chelsea 2-0 win. Hazard and Giroud to score in the second half. Man United will not score tonight. And I'm not saying they're going to be the better team either. I think Chelsea might just turn up. And I think it will be Conte's last game. And potentially Hazard's last game. Could he be on his way? We'll talk about that in the match review itself. So hopefully in a few seconds when I start um, start to talk about the game, I'll be correct. But maybe not. This is tough to call. Well, I guess you could say I was pretty spot on. 1-0 win for Chelsea. I thought it would be 2-0. Could have been if they carried on playing like they did in the first half. But ultimately, I think Manchester United were the better team in the second half. And it was a very, very tight, even game. Um, as expected. You know, I made a prediction that today, today's match was almost unpredictable. It was such a difficult one to call. Um, and I'm glad I went with Chelsea. It was kind of the opposite of what I was actually thinking. I thought that Man United, having been in better form recently and generally having a better season, that they would be too strong for Chelsea. Um, but it turns out that my suspicions were correct. That football is just like that. You know, and I don't necessarily think that Man United deserve to win today. But I do think that in some in some areas of the pitch and for some time in the second half, at least, they were the better side. Um, but you've got to give it to Chelsea because they got the early goal, 20 minutes in, a penalty. And yes, 100% a penalty. The, the only debate is whether the card was correct. Did Phil Jones take him out? Was it justified to be a red or a yellow? That's that's really the argument here. I think the yellow card was probably the correct decision because of the enormity of a red card in an FA Cup final 20 minutes in. That would have been a real shame for the neutrals, at least, and for Man United fans. So, in a way, I think it could have been a red, but I'm glad it wasn't. That's how I'm feeling right now. Um, but Hazard, I mean, when he gets through, you, you're just not catching him in that situation, are you? And um, brilliant penalty. Sending arguably the best keeper the wrong way. Best keeper in the world at the moment, De Gea. So um, I got my prediction pretty spot on, although I didn't get I, I didn't get the feeling that it was going to happen in the first half. I just thought that Chelsea would dominate the game in general, just having a lot of the possession because Man United set up quite defensively. But it was actually the opposite. It really was. It seemed like Chelsea were the really defensive side tonight. And it was Manchester United in the second half that played really well. Could have got a couple of goals. You know, Rashford shot straight at the keeper. I was... Not, I was not hoping that they were going to score. I didn't want any of these guys to win, of course. I wanted Arsenal to be in the final and to win it again. But I wanted Rashford's shot to go in just for for football. You know, it would have been a really nice game to go to extra time and maybe end on penalties. Um, and it was it was an even game. I think that wouldn't have been a bad result. 
um, for either team to, to potentially win on penalties because they were so even. I think it was Chelsea in the first half, Man United in the second half. And by the way, nothing makes me more happy than seeing Jose Mourinho salty at the end of big matches like this. It's a trophyless season for him and Manchester United and that final match interview today, uh, with BBC at least, I don't know if you guys saw it, first thing he said is, uh, I congratulate them because they've won, but they didn't deserve it. <laughs> and that is just brilliant. I, I, I despise Mourinho when he's cocky and it's always nice to see him grounded a little bit by a result like this where, okay, fair enough, your team maybe did play the better game and for once weren't on the uh, defensive and... Um, yeah, you, you should be feeling a little bit aggrieved. But isn't it nice for once to see Mourinho just upset like that and salty? He has to be professional. He's at arguably the biggest club in the world. You know, one of the biggest clubs in the world. He has to respect other managers and, and results when they don't go his way. He can't he can't throw his toys out of the pram and get upset. It's, um, it's, it's a moment where you've got to appreciate the fact that the other team have won the game. No matter how it happened, they won the game. And they've lifted the trophy and your team hasn't. So um, it was nice to see that he was still respectful, but he was very honest. And there were some truths in his little speech he gave at the end there. Man United, I think they did play the nicer, the, the better football, especially in the second half. But it's it's the result at the end of the day. And Chelsea come away with the win, which is um, which is big for Conte. I mentioned at the start of the, uh, of the, the video here in my pre-match uh, prediction that I think this will be his last game and I think it's pretty clear to see after seeing the interviews with the players especially with Cahill's you know they asked him do you think that um, Conte will be here next se next season do you want him here next season he completely dodged it like the plague and said oh that's down to the club and and the manager it's nothing to do with me I think that gave it away I think personally that Conte's already said to the players that this is probably my last game I want you to to win this for me and uh, I think Conte goes down as a success, for sure. He really has done very well in his two years. Feels like he's been there longer. Maybe the last two years have just kind of dragged on. But I think he will be moving on and he will be a very, very popular manager over the next few weeks in terms of just getting approaches from other clubs looking for a manager. He will do a great job anywhere. Um, and it's a shame in a way. I've quite enjoyed him at Chelsea. He's completely changed a lot of clubs formations you know going to that 3-4-3 or 5-3-2 or 5-2-3 formation that he's been using a lot of clubs followed suit and actually I think it's been a positive thing not a negative although it was negative today as they set up definitely with a five at the back formation pretty much even when attacking they stayed with five at the back and that's boring but the majority of matches especially when they won the title that, that formation allowed them to overpower teams and get a lot of players forward, especially with Moses Alonso as wingbacks. Arsenal copied that formation. They went and tried it and actually did quite well with it. And it's it's been quite refreshing to see a new formation. It's just been 4-2-3-1, 4-4-2, 4-1-4-1 just for years and years. So it was nice to have a manager like Conte come in and change it up a little bit. you know. And I think he's done very well at Chelsea and he will get another job very easily, very quickly. Um, but I don't know who that will be. The other player I mentioned that I think could potentially be playing his last game today for Chelsea was Eden Hazard. Um, I think he's going. I've just got this feeling that this isn't enough for him. He knows that Chelsea have been struggling this year. Maybe this helps a little bit. Maybe he'll be thinking, OK, we've got the FA Cup. We've ended one of our worst seasons still with a trophy. Maybe he's got enough in his head now to convince him that it's still okay to play for Chelsea but you can't help but feel he'll be watching the the the, the Champions League final where let's be honest I think Real Madrid are favourites he'll be watching that thinking I, sh I should be playing in the Champions League final I should be at Real Madrid I think that's one of the only clubs that will interest him at this point I don't think he'll be going to PSG while they've got Neymar I don't think he'll go to Bayern that doesn't really make sense I don't think he'll go to Barcelona that's for sure I think Real Madrid is the only team he would actually kind of fit. Um, big fan of Zidane, of course. He said it many times. His favourite player when he grew up was, was Zidane. Is he saying that just to kind of get Zidane to, you know, have a conversation with him? Just kind of bum-licking him a little bit? Um, I don't know. But ultimately, that doesn't matter at this point. The transfer window opens soon. And I think this, this is going to be a huge summer for a lot of things. And Hazard could be one of the biggest signings, one of the biggest movements of the window. Um, but that's it for today's match review, guys. I didn't really need to talk about the game too much. It was only a 1-0 win to Chelsea. 
I wanted it to go to extra time and penalties. It would have been fantastic. But Chelsea, in the end, whether you think they were deserved winners or not, they've won the FA Cup and Giroud, for example. Four FA Cups now. Three for Chelsea. Sorry, three for Arsenal, one for Chelsea. Very successful period for him in the FA Cup. And it'll be interesting to see if they can retain it next year. I think that it's quite possible they will. They're not going to be, um, you know, playing in Champions League week in, week out. So maybe they'll be stronger in domestic league and, and competitions. But that's going to be it for me. Hard luck to the Manchester United fans. As an Arsenal fan, I know what it feels like. We've lost a lot of finals, especially FA Cup finals in the past. We've won a lot recently and I'm sure Man United will continue to improve. They finished with more points this season than last season in the Premier League. So they're definitely, they're getting somewhere and I'm sure they'll be winning something soon. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video very soon.